In this question, we have a ball of 60 grams, uh, shot with a speed of 22 meters per second into the barrel of spring gun. Okay, and then the ball sticks in the barrel at the point of maximum compression. And then we want to find the speed of the spring gun after the ball stops in the barrel and a fraction of initial kinetic energy of the ball stored in the spring, okay? Okay, so to solve this, uh, and the whole thing is on a frictionless surface, okay? So, to solve part A, which is the speed of the um, spring, spring gun, okay? So we'll be using the conservation of momentum. Okay, the whole thing is on a frictionless surface, there's no external force, there's no net external force. Okay, so momentum of the whole system is conserved. Okay, so we have uh, m small m vi equals to small m plus big M uh, V, okay, or V final. Okay, so Vf is equal to m vi divided by small m plus big M in the numbers okay and then you calculate this you get um, 4.4 meters per second okay so this is the answer for part a next in part b we want to find the um, fraction of initial kinetic energy stored in the spring okay so um, so first we can calculate the change in kinetic energy. Okay. Okay. So k final is half uh, m plus small m plus big M v s square minus the initial kinetic energy. It is the um, kinetic energy of the ball. So you have half times 0 0.3, uh, 4.4 square minus half times 0 0.06, um, 22 square. Okay. So you do this calculation. And you get uh, negative 11.616 joules. Okay, so um, okay, because this um, energy, the change in kinetic energy is the energy that's being stored in the spring. Okay, so um, fraction okay, of uh, initial Ke stored in the spring okay so the drop in the decrease in kinetic energy goes into the uh, elastic potential energy in the spring okay so which is why um, the fraction will just be delta k divided by ki, right? So 11.616 divided by half times 0 0.06 times 22 square, okay? So you calculate this, you get um, 0 0.8. Okay, 0 0.8 is the answer for part b. And that's all for this question.